These next few weeks are special ones with the adventures that we just experienced from Pyramid Lake, located 35 miles northeast of Reno, Nevada. Pyramid Lake is property of and managed by the Pyramid Lake Paiute Tribe. It's also known as being North America's most beautiful desert lake and home to many year-round recreation activities. The reason fishermen come to this trout paradise is to catch their personal best trout. Pyramid Lake is a world-class fishery that's loaded with huge Lahontan cutthroat trout that range from 5 to 25 pounds and even bigger. So let's put on the boots and waders and go fishing. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in design and manufacturing of high quality fishing tackle, and by Fish Lab, realistic, meticulously crafted, and designed for one purpose to catch fish, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing. 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun and catch some fish, and by Stoked on Fishing Charters. Fish the local islands and offshore banks out west or join us on one of our many adventures around the world. And by Suzuki Marine, offering the West Coast the ultimate choice in outboard motors. Get back in right here so you can watch. Okay. What's really unique about this style of fishing is you're fishing from the shoreline. You're also fishing on ladders from time to time that get you up out of the cold water, help you cast, and keeps you warmer. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you do it, it becomes your fishing pier and your marking spot to let people know that's where you're fishing. The next thing in line is your boots and waders. Absolutely mandatory here at Pyramid Lake, and you better hope they don't leak, Ryan. Huh. Let's go fishing. So I've been pretty much hitting this beach every year in November because of the big fish being caught off here. And we benefit from the spin anglers too because a lot of times those fish will follow their lures in and then, you know, we'll grab them and they break off and they follow the drop off and then they eat our bugs. So it's just a matter of when they come through, we got to be in the water. It didn't take long. Nice. 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 He's not done yet. No, they're this time of the year some of the best fighters. Their water's cold, they're hungry, and they're tough fighters. Anybody seen the best road can't fight? It's weird because I was like, is that the indicator gone? Yeah, that's the one surprise the first time. Jeez. Awesome, that's a bitch and fight, dude. Yeah, bitch and fight. Not be, yeah, for no rush. Hey, you too, man. Enjoy it. Go. I don't know how many hours. Get this thing going. Total of 10. Gonna stop by the boot barn. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah.
quote on Brawl. I love it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Boom. Yeah. Nicely done, my friend. Oh, that's a beautiful pilot. Look at that thing. Got the leech in his mouth. Yeah, look at these heads on these wow. trout, man. Big old girl. Yeah, that's that's my Let's get a photo. That's got to be your biggest. For sure. Right? Always, when people yeah. come here, it's usually what happens, man. They always say, that's the biggest trout. Yeah. You know one of those, buddy. And you know what's Tell great, John? There's bigger ones out there. Good. This one. Get them. And I look up and I just see you bent. I'm like, oh, well, my I God. couldn't see the indicator gone. My eyes are terrible. And I was like, it's gone. Because I didn't feel no tug and then. The indicator's gone, I looked at it. Oh, you know that, you're yeah. feeling it. And we just got his first one, folks. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in. And come on, Gordy's. I still love the heads on these fish. They're so huge for trout. Yeah, same thing with that one behind it underneath the tail. Yeah. Come out there, there. Can you get a straight now one for me? There. There you go. That's a fish right there, dude. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, baby. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. You paid off fast. I'm ready it? to go home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I couldn't imagine catching a freaking 20 pounder. There's no way. Put another 10 pounds on that. That thing freaking. Is that psycho? That thing fought. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. These guys got one over here on the spinning gear. That's probably, I think maybe you have You weigh the net, not the fish, right, Joe? That's correct. Do not use a bogue on these fish. So just take three pounds, eight and a half pounds. Oh, nice. Yeah, just roughly under, under eight and a half. There's a fish that just blow right there. And see, that way the fish doesn't get damaged. What was he, eight and a half? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the bogus will uh, <laughs> bogus will snap the spine on the bigger fish. Uh, trout are not designed like largemouth yeah. bass and other type of fish like that. So we've been asking people, don't put these on bogus to weigh them. Uh -huh. Just weigh your net. Uh, we take three pounds off this net. And you're all set, man. You ready to let her go? Oh, that thing's beautiful, yeah. This is what, um, this is the species of trout we brought back from what we thought was, ex was ex extinct. A cutthroat? This one here. So this is the Pilot Peak. This is the strain that they found in the creek in Utah that genetically was the same fish that swam in this lake. So these fish achieve weights faster than any trout right now on the planet. They grow five times faster than any other trout. So this fish here, I don't know, maybe seven, three, inches. three years old. Wow. Four, maybe. Okay, there you go. You know, when you get to seven years old, eight, nine, they're in the, you know, 16 to 20 pound range. Big fish. That is gorgeous. A big fish. Gorgeous. All right, let's get a nice release. Right, here. <laughs> We're gonna go, don't worry. Come on, it's not a crawly trap, right? I know, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> there you go. Come here. That's it. Oh, let it go. Thumbs up, baby. John, here you go, man. Woo! Starting the day. Starting the day. Nice job, Joe. <laughs> it's teamwork, dude. You could imagine catching a bigger one. Oh, they like fight hard, man. Look at that thing roll. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Got a little chilly there for a second. Yeah, they said it was going to get cool before it started warming up. Right? And it did. Dude, it did get a little chilly right there. That's what I did. I just went back up and put another jacket on. I was like, all right. Rock's bit. Rock's bit, folks. Rock's bit. Get loud, but it's the only way I get you guys to go. Alright, dude. Let's go, Brock. Alright. Get him on the reel now. Get that reel going. Spin that handle. Alright. Now get him on the drag. Yeah, yeah, yes. Drag work. Atta boy. It's just a black beach. Gotcha. Yeah, Brock. Yeah, Brock. Nice. Well, you got yourself a pilot. See how the adipose is clipped? Uh, top. Yep, that's the adipose. So that's clipped. This is a pilot string. This is stocked in by. He's probably about three years old, maybe. Nice fish, dude. Yeah. Sweet. 
you hear me scream that all the time. Because well, they freeze like in the headlights. You missed it at first and then yeah, you I grabbed did. it. I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> all right. All right, hold them up. I'll right, put them up right there. Yeah, dude. All right, awesome. Jay. Nice, buddy. All right. Yeah. See you, bud. Thumbs up. We use 12 pound fluoro. It's a little tricky at first when it's cold, but oh, it's worth it. That's what John got bit on, right? The black one? Yeah, black. That's what he's using right now. There it is. Uh -huh. Sits like that. Uh -huh. What's up, bro? Just lost one. What happened? Well, set the hook, yeah, yeah, yeah. but my big gloves, I couldn't strip the line because I couldn't get the line in between the gloves. You so, had your gloves on? Yep, so I just took them off. And the bobber went down? Oh, I was hooked. Oh, and you couldn't strip it? Couldn't strip it. <laughs> couldn't strip it. The line was like, I was pulling it, it was going back and forth, I was pulling it because I couldn't get in between my gloves. Whole fat fingers, basically. So that's called a total rookie maneuver. Okay, all right. So, note to self, don't wear gloves. No gloves. Okay. Alrighty, good morning, good morning. <laughs> learning curve. It's always a learning curve. Joe, it's always a learning curve, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I learn every day out here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, coffee! <laughs> oh, I wanted that so bad out there. Epic coffee. Yeah, I'll take one for sure. Thank you. You have two. Sushi talk. Yeah, we are talking sushi. That's good. Yeah, because they makes breakfast. And they're giving us signs to the going. Gourmet. That's right. From Uncle Joe. <laughs> that tastes lovely. All right. A little break time for fishing. We're going to eat some breakfast, then we're back at it. This is pretty awesome. You can go park your trucks chill out, hang out, make a day out of it. And that's what everybody does. We just got done with some breakfast. And there's probably about a dozen guys just kind of posted up on this point. And uh, this is the flat or the uh, spinning area. So most of these guys are all casting spinners and spoons, crankbaits, all kinds of funky stuff. So they're still biting. He ate the spoon. Nice. That's Captain Joe right there. Nice. Solo, solo here act we here. Go. We got to run it now. Here we go. There you go. There, there you it go. is. All right. Spoon fish. Oh, it just popped. Sweet. There he is. All right, little spoon fish. We had no more fish left in here, so they reintroduced this strain of cutthroat. And that's the what strain? It's the summit strain. See, so has the adipose on there. So the pilots, the pilots that, that John got earlier was a pilot. It had no adipose. They clipped the adipose. And that is the adipose is where? Right On here. Fin, yeah. Right there. That's your adipose fin. Okay. Gotcha. So yeah, that's a nice little summit. All right. We're this guy can get up to 20 pounds too. Oh, there he goes. Perfect. We have two cutthroat. We had the summit, which was put in here to replace what we fished to extinction, we thought. was, a, And then we found this strain that used to live in here. Reintroduce that, and we call that the pilot. pilot. They're both Lahunt cutthroats. Just there's a pilot Lahunt cutthroat, and then there's the summit Lahunt cutthroat. Lahunt. Yeah. So this is all part of one giant lake that used to cover up most of northern Nevada into part of California. That was Lake Lahunt. And then Lahunt. It was, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that receded back, and then the deepest part of Lake Lahunt was Pyramid Lake, and this is what we're left with. Which Not is bad. <laughs> That's bad. why we're here. That's why we're here, man. Trophy hunt. Yeah, he said it. See, trophy hunt, and that no trophy. So that was a tiny, tiny, small, 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 small. But there's some big ones. So that's what we're doing. So throwing the spoon, and those guys are fly fishing.
Not it again! Oh my god! There he is! Oh yeah, I felt that! That was out deeper too. That might be a better fish. Maybe, maybe. Right here, right here, dude. He put it right freaking here. Oh, 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 Watched him come up and eat it right here. Yeah, that's what I see. running baby that's yeah, running go, awesome 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 there you go buddy there you go sweet don't forget to follow us on instagram at stoked on fishing for daily photos videos trip updates and much much more Nice, nice, John. Let me see that thing. With the, uh... that, that one's not big as well. This is a, a native fish from these up the waters here. This is the kiwi. This is what uh, actually it's an endangered species. So we uh, huge food source for the Native Americans that lived around the lake. Wow, what's this? What is it called? It's called a kiwi. Yeah. Wow. They have good fun. Good fires. C U I, yeah. I've never seen one. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. It's another food source for the trout, too. The smaller ones, so. Here, buddy. That's not what we wanted, but you got it. You got pretty excited. That's like, Joe! That's the first, man. Do you see that thing? It's called yeah. a wee wee. It's, uh, it it's a sucker. Oh, okay. It's just uh, one of the native <laughs> fish from this uh, area. Okay. I only to this area too. It's really great. Really nice job this morning, buddy, on that. Thank you, dude. That was personal best. That was an awesome, awesome day. That is your personal best, right? That was, yeah. Nine, almost a nine-pound trout. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was like. But that thing fought. You were just as Crowley, and it was like, and how big was your biggest Crowley? Uh, we caught, I caught a fiber, maybe? 20, we caught, I caught a 21 inch cutthroat. Okay, and that's I, probably two pounds. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice way to start the morning. Yeah, it was maybe. epic. It was good. So, uh, what are we hearing about for tomorrow? We got some weather coming in, right? Tomorrow, yeah, I think we're gonna cancel tomorrow because the weather's gonna be pretty bad. 
and I guess when it gets bad here, it's really bad, but it's not gonna stop us from throwing some uh, spinning rods out tomorrow, because I think it could still be excellent. That's when these giants are supposed to bite is when yeah. it's supposed to be nasty, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we got some good uh, feedback from the locals, gave us a lot of good Man, pointers. that was nice of some of these guys. Really, some of these really guys cool. gave Shay some spoons and we got some definitely some methods we're gonna try out. And, and thank you, first of all. Nice oh, meeting you. Oh, my pleasure, yeah, absolutely. Um, second of all, um, we got some weather coming in tomorrow. We do. We're taking a day off. We are gonna take a day off. We have winds uh, gusts up to 45 miles an hour tomorrow. Rain gear. And uh, th those kind of conditions can make it difficult with the fly rod, but they're still, you, you know, people try and find a spot to do this out here. Um, but we have the next day on Wednesday, it looks much better. So we're gonna maybe take it off and fly fishing. You guys might go out there with the spin gear, give it a shot. Yeah, we can at least probably yeah, chuck them on probably, stuff. yeah. And, uh, so can we with the, with the casting gear, yes, but can. Um, uh, much better for you to take the day off and go fish on Wednesday when the conditions are better for us. Okay, well we so, learned yeah. a lot today, uh, and you said that we actually, the fish started biting today too. Yeah, we've okay. had about three days of slow bite here for a lot of people, okay. from the spin angler to the fly anglers. So today seeing what we saw on the beach, we probably saw about 20 fish caught throughout the beach on spin and fly, Our, ours being you know eight and a half biggest. So yeah. And good ones. There yeah. were some eights and tens yep. right Norm to the right of us. got a 10 pounder today. He got that on that flatfish, and yep. we got ours on the balance leech. So, yep. variety of presentations work out here. You've seen it today, yep. Shay. I did. I really did. I learned a lot too. But uh, I want to thank Brett. Right, Brett gave me those Brett spoons. Brett gave you those spoons, man. Yeah, shot Brett got an 18 shark. pounder last week. See, yeah, and there was a giant lost today yep. on the shoreline. All right, we'll see you all there, buddy. Hey, good times. Thank you. All right. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Akuma Fishing Tackle, a global leader in design and manufacturing of high-quality fishing tackle, and by Fish Lab, realistic, meticulously crafted, and designed for one purpose, to catch fish, and by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of deck space for fishermen who want to have some fun in the sun and catch some fish, and by Stoked on Fishing Charters, fish the local islands and offshore banks out west, or join us on one of our many adventures around the world, and by Suzuki Marine, offering the west coast the ultimate choice in outboard motors.